Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today we'll be learning a bit about sweep. Uh, so I have made a shorter version for this also. Those who don't have time can watch this. So you need two sketches. First, you need a closed sketch like this one. It can be of any shape you want. Second is the path. So it should be made of line, arc or spline. Now, once these two are done, click on sweep. Select sketch one and for sweep path, select sketch two. So that's how you use sweep. That entire uh, sketch is swept along that path. Now for those of you have time, stick around till the end. I will be making a much more detailed video and we will we'll be using other tools as well. So let's go. All right, wall mounted core track. That's what I'll be making today. So I'm breaking traditions here. So go for a, a right plane and click on sketch. Now go for right view and select the line tool. Make a line here and then click on the three point arc. First point here, second point here, third here. Now make another arc kind of something like this. Now this line and this arc are in tangent, but these two arcs aren't. So to make that in tangent, just we have a list of constraints here, select the tangent and just left click on both these. There you go. Now let's go for front plane and sketch on front plane. Now we can go for any cross section. I'm going for a circle here. All right, green tick. Now let's go for sweep. This is the path and that is the cross section. Select sweep. And face to sweep should be circle. So click on that and sweep path are the line and arcs. So click on all three of them. All right. Now the first part is ready. Now I want to smoothen out the edges. So click on that edge and go for fill it. At one centimeter should be sufficient. Now let's go to the back and click on sketch. Select the circle, click on the origin and make a circle. And I also need two holes. So I'll be going for one here and uh, you can mirror the second one. First, let me dimension it. I'm going for two centimeters. Don't worry about the dimensions. You can learn it as you go to make proper diagrams. Now let's go for mirror. And now you see, you can adjust it right here. It doesn't move at all because it's in constraint. So select mirror. Now it's asking for a mirror line. That's this line. And entities to mirror is this circle. Click on the green tick. Now select the sketch and go for extrude. All right, it has extruded and confirm. Now set the face and go for chamfer. I'm actually doing this so the screws would properly fit in here. That right, it's nicely chamfered. Now you can But I kind of want to shift it because it's towards the end edge right now. So again, you can change it. That's uh, one of the great things about CAD. You can rectify it at any point. So just shift it. Just click on the center of the circle and drag it anywhere. The second one will also move because it's already mirrored. All right. Now all the features which were made later on have also been updated. 
Now these hooks won't be there as a single piece because you have to hang a lot of clothes. So how do you multiply this? Now one way of doing this is by Shadow Clone Jutsu! <laughs> now if you appreciate that meme, hit that like button. But since we are not in one of Mr. Masashi Kishimoto's creations, we have a simpler way of doing it without expending any of our chakras. That is called linear pattern. Now select that. And there are other patterns also, we'll learn that eventually. Now select the pattern, entity to pattern. That would be this part. And we have to select a direction also. I'm going to choose right plane. <clears throat> now it's really close, right? So you can change it. Uh, you can enter whatever distance you want. Uh, I don't think 20 centimeters will also work in this case. We'll go for 30. All right, that seems alright. Now, this is the instance count. How many do you want? Like, do you want two parts, three parts? You can add it. Now, it's coming in this direction, right? You can change it by clicking the arrow. It'll be in the opposite direction. Now, I want it to be at center. So, I'm going to select this option. So the original one will be at the center and the newly created one will be on the left and right side. So click on the green tick. Now since that's done, uh, let's go to the back and select this plane and sketch a rectangle. We'll take a center point rectangle. Now take a circle and create something like this. Now dimension it. This is basically the hole for screw that will be mounted on the wall. Now don't worry if it has shifted. You can adjust it manually also. Even the hole can be changed to wherever you want. Right now let's go for mirror. So select the mirror line that is this and the entity that is a circle now it has been mirrored now go for extrude all right and that's it now i'm going to add a little bit more addition once i've chamfered it this is too simple right now let's go for select this plane we'll be sketching there and click on sketch right it kind of looks like an elephant so i'm going to complete it by making some ears also okay select the projected tool and then go for spline and make a ear using that all right now double click it so you can end the spline now you can adjust it any way you want all right that seems fine i'm going to mirror this ear okay just some fine tuning and go for mirror select this line and the object to be mirrored Alright, now let's delete the unnecessary arcs, one on top and the arc on the bottom. We don't need them. Right, now let's extrude this also. Now it has become a new part. I want it to be part of the earlier sketch itself, part itself, sorry. So click on add. Now it's showing as red. You can change it by going for merge scope and just click on this part now it has been merged with the initial part i don't want it to be this thick so i'm going for one centimeter and confirm all right now you can make same entity by how i've taught you so i'm going to use magic and turn it into something like this so but you have to sketch it all right 
that's some video editing skills that's all now let's go for a sort of realistic render uh, let me just hide all this i just need the entity now it's a fairly simple redesign if you want to call it that way but it might be appealing you know the kids and even the adults can you know think about hanging it there instead of putting it on the chair right so if you found this video interesting or informative don't forget to press that like button share it with your friends and family comment if you want and if you really think i have earned it consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon so you never miss out on any of my future videos my name is shibin thank you for watching i'll see you in the next lesson which is anand chak